Hello, this is Chief McClure from the Vermont J6, and I just wanted to make a short video on how to install and configure the components for Secure Mode Access and VDI. Just to recap, Secure Mode Access with VDI gives you the ability to check out a virtual instance of a government-issued computer from your own personal laptop or desktop. This gives you all the capability of an issued government computer, SharePoint or server access, update your files, etc., without the hassle of loving, lugging around a government laptop or desktop, you know, whatever you need to do. So you, you can do all this from your personal computer. All right, so there's a couple of things that you're going to need before you get started. Uh, you're going to need to have an updated version of Java. You're going to need to have active client with all the DoD certificates, a valid network account, and a USB CAC reader. If you have any problems with any of these, just call the help desk or call myself. I can say the easiest way to install Active Client and the certificates is to go to militarycac.com and follow their steps. Java, you can just Google Java and install the latest version right from their website. All right, so to get started, let's open up an Internet Explorer window. And for security reasons, I'm going to hide the address, but whenever you submit that help desk ticket requesting secure remote access, Whenever that ticket's closed out, they're going to reply back with all the addresses that you need. You can also get them from myself or your S6. So from the Internet Explorer window, type in the address provided. And a window should come up asking you for certificates. Always select your email certificate and your PIN. It's going to ask you for your PIN quite a bit. All right, right now the installer is just going through validating that you have the necessary programs. And this takes a little bit, so I'm going to pause it. All right, so once your system's been validated, this page is going to pop up. What you want to do is go from the drop down, select Virtual Desktop Users, and log in. Put in your PIN twice. And if the page kind of hangs and you don't get a spinning wheel up by the address bar, just hit login again, and then it'll refresh it, and then it'll bring you to the actual install page. So again, this is going to take a little bit. I'm just going to pause it. All right, so the installer is pretty much done. It's installed, and right now it's establishing a connection. This is the AnyConnect little icon down here. We know it's connected because there's the lock. And we can open up the AnyConnect, and it says Connected. All right, so now that we're connected, we need to browse to the VMware View server. What that's going to do is actually download that second component to the, the Secure Remote Access, the VDI portion, that lets you check out that virtual instance. So there's a second address that's going to be provided by either the help desk technician, myself, or your S6. Type in that IP address. And hit Enter. Can be prompted for some certificates. And your pen. Just continue this website, not recommended. Certificates again. And if you don't want to see this, just add the website to your trusted sites. What it's doing right now is it's checking for the VMware View client. If it sees the client's installed already, you can just skip this step. But if it's not installed, select VMware View client. My system's a 64-bit, but yours might say 32 right there. Just make sure that this top radio is selected and hit download. I am going to run it, but you can save it if you want. So I'm going to hit run. It's going to download. This takes a little bit, so I'm going to pause it again. All right, so the download's complete, and I'm going to hit run. Yes. And this takes a little bit for the wizard to come up. So once the wizard window pops up, next, next, accept. Accept these defaults, and 
next. So the default view connection server, that's the IP address of the VMware view server. So it's going to be blurred out, but it should be given to you by the personnel. Accept these defaults, and wherever you want the shortcut for view, I just accept the defaults, and the wizard is going to install, so I'll pause it. All right, so the wizard said it's finished. I hit finished, and now it's going to need to restart to complete the installation. That's pretty much all you need to do to download and install and configure the secure remote access in VDI. So I'm going to stop this video. My next video is just going to be just connecting. So after that, we'll do a reboot, and then you can start the next video. Thanks.